This is going to be a very, very fun, but also a very important chapter. Um, not sure if I can do this fast. I'm going to do this for the first time. And I'm going to discuss quantum. So how to be in different places at the same time. So what do I mean? Bruce Lee, again, while you point your finger and aim it towards the moon, you are at the moon as well as in the moment of your finger at the same time. This is possible. And I think I created sort of a model on how to do this. So let me get you a new paper. Sorry for the sound. Um, what I'm going to explain in, in this storyline is how to align your future goals on these, this future timeline and get them to the powerful present of now, the present, the present. So I'm not sure if I told you this already. I used to be a, a certified accountant, which means that I used to work with balances a lot, financial balances in this case. Um, somehow it's a fun fact that I ended up in personal balance. Um, grounding, one could say. So, so it doesn't make that much noise. So this model comes from the big thing we call a thumb, out of nowhere. Just making it up as we go. So I'm going to present to you a balance. This is a financial balance. Normally in the financial world, this is what you own and this is what, uh, sorry, this is what you owe, own yourself. This is what you have. And this is that you have to pay back, so to say. In this case, this is called force. And I don't know, let's just call this uh, for now the, the quantum balance of personal growth. <laughs> okay, so force, and this is called flow. This is the present, so now. And this, you might have guessed it, is the future. In other words, compared to finance again, this is what you owe right, own right now. I have a house, I have uh, inventory, etc. And this is also some future uh, stuff. So bad comparison, sorry. I will not compare it to financials anymore. Just for now, this is the present, this is the future. So this quantum balance, how can you be your best self in the right now, while also working towards the future. So how can you find your personal mix between flowing and forcing? And why is this important? Compare yourself to a boatsman. You are here. This is the river. You are on this side and you need to get to this side. You have your boat over here. This is a boat somehow. Yeah, I'm not famous for my drug. You would say this is the smart of the, the, the best way, you know, it, it's the fastest, it's the easiest, etc. Okay. Unfortunately, life doesn't work this way. The current might be extra strong here and very easy going here. Or there might be a big rock over here. You don't know that when you're here. You have no idea. You're just being here, the best boatman you can be. So sometimes it's better to just let the flow go and bring you there and then you're still on the other side. Instead of pushing through this current, current, perhaps your boat get tipped, you will never reach the shore. Or perhaps you will hit the rock and your boat gets tipped, you will never hit the shore. So sometimes it's better to flow with the current instead of forcing your way through whatever life is throwing at you. However, there will be a current here. So yes, it's not just flowing, 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 because then you will never reach. You will always remain in the flow. So if you do want to reach a goal, if you, you also have to combine a little bit of force. That's what this model is about. How do you find your balance when you are on the water, when you are in real life, so to say. So this compares to real life. Back to the model. How can you be your best self in now? Well, that's easy. Life is all about 
B between uh, sorry <laughs> life is all about C between B and D this is a quote from Sartre a French philosopher life is a choice between birth and death so it's all about choices and you can choose to act or not act that's assumption number one in this model so that you have a choice and you can act or not act later i will teach you that this choice is made in 0 0.5 seconds and this is from frankel but there's always one moment of clarity before you decide to act and how to act or not to act you can choose to act compassionate and loving or you can act with uh, in a negative fashion it's all up to you in this and you can train this so you can train to act along or not to act alongside your core values so that could be uh, play joy uh, kindness for me um, freedom is very important and uh, a lifelong learning the hunt so to say uh, uh, for or the quest one could say for uh, for intelligence not intellect so not memory and those things but things that make this leaf grow or the titan in myself so to say true uh, knowledge one could say those are my core values so being your best self is making your best choice in this 0.45 seconds where best equals do you act along your core values in other words are you your authentic self okay however this is flowing you can live your entire life this way and you would have a beautiful life and it matters not if you get to the other side of the river the universe is already complete in its current phase it doesn't need you to do anything of this so to say it doesn't matter whether you ripple or not but that's a personal opinion because in the end everything is energy and we have these beautiful bodies and we can acquire energy and trend or transform that energy into a different vibe so to say so we're sort of instruments uh, that attune to this flow and you can design decide what kind of sound you make those are your core values but you play in the present and your the, the the music that the universe is making so to say keeps changing it keeps altering but in its very core all the noise is silence it's clarity it's one flow it's all ups downs ups downs ups downs it's energy it flows hence uh, me making a lot of noise i like making noise i love making noise and perhaps it does provide a function in the grand scheme of everything perhaps it doesn't i don't know so just to be sure i act along whatever i think is most important in life alongside my core values and that can be character traits that can be things to attain that can be people your core value can also be your your kids for example as seen but i do have to act in now however this is the other side of the shore and the other side of the shore we translate to this this is where your goals are and you do want to aim for a goal because as mentioned before we are like dogs chasing cars um, we tend to do better when we have a target uh, inside so these goals are in the future these goals are some shoreline that you can see you're not there yet but you can see it and you can see the route the trick ladies and gents to get across to the river while also navigating whatever life brings you is to stick one eye to this so to say but also both eyes on here on the water on the flow internally and externally 
So you could say, and I'm making this up as we go right now live, that two of your eyes are used on this boat. So let's make eyes out of this. One goes, it actually looks like eyes. One is looking, hey, where's the current? Where are the rocks? What is life throwing me? Throwing at me. This is external. One eye is like your external environment. The other eye is internal. Is my boat leaking? How am I doing? Do I feel energized enough? Uh, do I want to reach that shore? Is it my core value? So this is an internal eye, so to say. I should have drawn this one in the boat. So one eye is external. One eye is internal. But huh? you mentioned a third eye. So your third eye is an eye that you do not physically have in the present. You do not have it. Yet, however, we humans, as one of the very rare species on this planet, are gifted with this thing we call imagination. Imagination. You can imagine you crossing to the other side. You can already think about it, but even more powerful, you can already feel it. And that's what's being the bridge between here. Feeling. So when you know how to connect with the feeling, you connect to your third eye. So not reaching the shore. Reaching the shore is the output. That's like Focusing on the output. No, you want to focus. How do I feel when I reach the shore? Because your mind can only help so far, but you can actually bring your feelings to now. So your third eye is a feeling eye, so to say. It mixes your mind because you need this tool imagination, but you combine it with your heart. And your heart attunes to this wave here. Your heart is the bridge of this quantum balance. Your heart, in other words, is the bridge towards this third eye. Because although you are not on the shore yet, you can already feel in the boat now how it will feel when you have reached the shore. So you can bring this future reaching shore back to your boat right now. So your third eye, you could say, is here as well as here. And your heart is just the tool to translate this to this. And that's why it's so important to pick goals that align with your heart, because it's way easier to connect with that future feeling. And you can apply this to pretty much everything. So for example, when you want to be for two minutes in ice water, um, let's say this lake is frozen. I'm not sure if this example is going to work, but let's try it out. Let's say this lake is frozen. And uh, you don't have a boat, you have to go in butt naked. Here you go. I'm not sure if you are happy or unhappy. It does not matter. Because... It matters not how you feel in this. You can connect with the feeling of being dry here because here is a very hot cocoa waiting, hot chocolate. So while you are in the water and you're freezing, your mind brings you to this point. You have an option here right now. So first inter externally, damn, this is ice water. Nah, ice water. Internally, like, hey, I have so much pain. Like, ah, my body hurts, my body hurts. But wait, this is a dopamine wave. This is why also uh, knowledge is beautiful. This is your mind can be double here. Your mind can tell you, I'm in pain, I'm in pain, out, out, out. But your mind can also say, but hey, other people are pushing toward, uh, through it. So I can do this too. They are built out of the same cloth as I am. Also, this is just a dopamine wave. If I push through the dopamine wave, the wave will become higher again. 
So I can break through this wall. It's just my limbic system screaming out, 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 using me for short-term survival. But long-term survival, however, says me to push through towards that hot cocoa. Because if I crawl back, there's no hot cocoa waiting. Mm -mm. This is also powerful if you lock it in. Lock it in technology uh, discussed is one of the techniques where you have to cross. It's either you cross or you die. So this would be you jumping out of the boat uh, or destroying your boat, so to say. You can't cross um, this anymore. So let's say the shore is over here. You're further, you, it's easier to go there than there, then you have to go there or you die. That's locking it in, turning down your boat. It's a very powerful technique to getting things done. Okay, but back to the example. When you jump ship, your body tells you it's either do or die. Then you can imagine this hot cocoa. You can imagine reaching shore. You can actually not focusing on reaching the shore, but the feeling this hot cocoa gives you. When you are in this ice cold water, if you think about this hot chocolate milk, you will feel yourself warming. If you combine that with mental tricks like, hey, I need to control my breath. Uh, my breath. I need to push through this dopamine. Uh, my limbic system is screaming. Now I need to do uh, reach the shore. I need to survive. So you go in a perfect balance between your ape mode survival as well as in your uh, prefrontal uh, cortex, your higher being that translates this feeling of hot cocoa into your now. Okay, not sure how this resonated in uh, the end in the video. To keep it easy for now. You have two eyes on the now and you have a third eye that helps you get your goals or the feeling of future goals into the now, into the present. Because the present is the most powerful moment you have. Because you either need to go with the flow or you need to force. It needs to be decided in now. So you have only now. But you have this powerful imagination, this third eye that you can bring this feeling into your heart, into now. And this is what all these self-help books mean by if you can envision it, you can become it, so to say. It's not about having the hot cocoa. No, it's feeling the hot chocolate running through your veins. Although you're not actually drinking the hot chocolate milk, it already fills you up in the present. And then the beauty of it all is when you get out of the water on the shore, you won't care about giving, getting the hot chocolate. It doesn't matter whether you get the hot chocolate or not. It is all about the process and not the output. The feeling of hot chocolate running through your veins. And then yes, of course, it's great that you actually have the hot chocolate and that you can enjoy that particular moment when it gets there. But already the running or the swimming towards that hot chocolate fills you up in the process. And that's what it means that it's about the journey as much as it is about the goal. So the swimming part as well as drinking chocolate. So I'm hoping this is clear. It's probably not crystal clear. So I am uh, to blame for that. Um, but this I would say is the quantum balance. This again is how you watch to your, uh, at your finger while also to the moon. So Bruce Lee, other than fighting, knew a thing or two. See you in the next video.